Like even my father, a lot of people say, oh, I, I know this guy, he's really smart, or I know this guy has a photographic memory. No, and I'm not just saying this because he's my dad. When you've met true supreme intelligence, I've never met anybody else in the world who had the level of intelligence he had. So like when you're like a grandmaster at chess, like Fisher chess, which my understanding is that they just scramble up all the pieces and you just look at the board. Yeah. He could pretty much beat anyone in the world. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's more than even that. It's more just like supreme... The ability to supremely recall information. When I was with my father, if he needed your phone number, he'd ask, what's your phone number? And you'd say it once, and that was it for the rest of his life. He didn't have to write it down. you tell him an address, that was it for the rest of his life. He never wrote anything down. He never had to repeat anything to him. My father, when he died, someone messaged me who was in, because my father was in the CIA. He held the, fa the, record of the, CIA, the CIA record for the fastest assimilation of a foreign language. My father learned Russian within two and a half weeks from zero. Like, really? he, yeah, he would just read a book. He'd just read the dictionary. Like to these people, it's just like, just, just read it. When my dad died, James Altucher, do you know who he is? Mm -hmm. My James Altucher, you can ask him about my dad. Him and James played a game and it was a draw in the end. And James did a tribute to my father saying that he was just a scary dude. Like he was just supremely smart, right? So, so I, when, when you were growing up, did you know your dad was in the CIA? Uh, he had left the military by the time I was any, I was like three when he left. Got it. To, okay. to, to pursue chess. Um, so yeah, he was a linguist. He knew like four languages and he was a professional chess player. And I grew up around this absolute supreme intelligence. And I always knew, even when I was a child, that I was smart, but I wasn't that smart. Mm -hmm. Like I, my, my, my beautiful mother watered me down. Like <laughs> I didn't have what he had. Like he was complete. He remembered every chess game he'd ever played. So you could be sitting there and he'd, he'd say, oh, I played him in 1982. And he'll just go through the whole game. Or he could beat you at chess without looking at the board. So you'd have a board in front of you and say E4. He'd be in another room, C5. Night F3, night C6, and he'd be cooking dinner and he'd fucking smoke you. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. He'd play simultaneouses where he played like 100 people in a row. So they'd sit there and they'd think and he'd just go board to board, just make quick moves. He played a, a blind simultaneous where I'm just talking about different, uh, you have a board and he has nothing. He played three people at once blind, beat them all. That's, that's how good grandmasters are. This is what people don't understand about chess. Chess, I'm a kickboxing world champion and I'm telling you, forget the UFC, forget kickboxing. The hardest sport in the world is world level chess. These guys are wired different. You can't learn it. You either have it or you don't.